Well, this thing's been lurking in the background of several videos I've done, and uh, it is indeed one of those mock art deco things. And uh, what I've done with this is to replace the speakers in it because they were truly dire. The sound was awful, so tinny, and uh, with the lid shut, it just sounded boxy, booby. In the top is a three-speed turntable. It's a shame they haven't made it look like an old one, really, because that would have been the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? But, uh, well, there you go. They just don't think of these things, it seems to me. And you've got an FM AM radio and then a CD at the bottom. It's a very basic one. Just play, pause, stop, down and up, and open, shut. That's it, really. And, the, and a little headphone plug below the uh, flashing track lamp there. The radio dial should light up but doesn't. The lamp's are blown. And uh, it's a pig to get at because you've got to dismantle the CD mechanism first to do it and uh, so one day when I'm feeling braver anyhow what I meant to go on about was that in recent weeks I've been mucking about with a record player which allows you to transfer vinyl or even shellac to a computer and thence of course onto a CD and I found over at the old folks' home, a number of uh, very old records, which one of the old girls over there has. And uh, she said she very much liked them copied onto CD, or even onto cassette tape, because uh, she's getting a bit doddery and uh, doesn't want to risk damaging them when she starts and stops the uh, record player. It's an automatic BSR, she hasn't got much hope of doing that, but... Some of these records are a non-standard size. They tend to be 8 inches. And the label in the middle is tiny compared to a modernish record. And so, of course, the automatic BSR will switch off long before the tune's finished. Anyway, this one is from 1926. I don't know whether this was electrically recorded. Sometimes it used to proudly say that in the middle, or whether it was acoustically recorded. It certainly does sound rather tinny. The uh, transfer process has uh, kept the uh, rather antiquated <laughs> clapped out sound to a T. <laughs> Thank you. 
what a truly dire tinny sound. Of course, the thing was, I could have just played the 78 on this. It has the uh, right needle in it at the moment, and uh, I've been having a little play around on the Pi Radiogram, too. A very good they sounded. I'll have to see if I can borrow them again one day. But you've got to be so careful transporting records that old. You, you can't, well, just doesn't bear thinking about what would happen if you had to break suddenly and the whole lot went crash. And shellac doesn't bounce very well, does it? Anyway, hope you like the film. I'll see you again soon.